In today's Taiwan Explained, we're going to be talking about the dragon boat races which are going up this weekend. And to have a little bit more fun with it, we're doing it as a quiz. Yay! So on buzzer number one, we have Natalie So. <laughs> buzzer number two, we have Leslie Liao. And I'm correct in assuming that neither one of you has done dragon boat races before. That's right. That is the truth. We look like we can handle it, right? No. <laughs> I think you'd be great. What are you talking about? The Taiwan Insider team. Now, I have done dragon boat racing before, but it was many, many, many years ago. If you guys do well enough in this quiz, I will show you some photos. Oh, I like to see those. Big money. A, from a long time ago. Leslie's perked up. He's Playing for now. big money. Playing for big money. Let's go. <laughs> Just a little hint, I actually have a lot of hair in those photos, so you'll want to watch all the way to the end of today's show. Are you ready? Yes. First question, what do dragon boaters use to propel themselves forward? Oars. Leslie, oars? Oars. Wrong. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, keep thinking, Paddles. guys. Pa Paddles, oh. that is correct. Let's have a look at the answer. Oh, paddles, paddles, yeah. Oh, paddles. Okay, this That's is right. very important. So paddling is what they do on dragon boats. Uh, in canoes, they also paddle. But when you're rowing, that is when you use oars. Mm -hmm. uh, Nally, can you show me how you would use a paddle in a dragon boat? Like this? I have no idea. Leslie? Like this? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you guys are doing exactly right. Are so you basically, serious? you hold the paddle with two hands and you pull alongside the boat, propelling yourself forward. Uh -huh. So the difference with rowing is you use an oar, it's affixed to the side of the boat usually, and you use it as a lever to push yourself backwards. Uh -huh. So with dragon boat, you're going forwards. With a rowing, in a rowing boat, you're with crew, you're going backwards. I didn't realize. And crew is on two sides, right? Uh, well, it can or is it just be. one on each side? I, mean, uh, I think it's usually on one side as okay. well. Okay, okay. Yeah. So kayaking could be on two sides. Okay. Mm. But now we're getting too complex for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's above my pay grade. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next question. How many people are in a standard dragon boat at the Taipei International Dragon Boat Races? Whoever gets closest gets the point. The people who the team. are in the boat. How many people in a boat? Yep. Leslie. 14. 14? 16. 16. All right, let's have a look at the answer. Oh, wow, oh. that many people. 21 is a, a standard team. boat. The smaller boats have fewer people. But if you look at that picture, you'll see at the very front of the boat is the flag catcher. And what happens is at the end of the race, the flag catcher has to jump up, grab the flag, and whoever grabs the flag wins. Okay, so that's oh. very important. Um, also, you have a drummer, who's usually the coach, a steers person, who's in the back. That's a tough job. And then you have 18 paddlers. Hmm. So 21 cool. is standard. No idea. That's really cool. How long is the race in Taipei? Like distance. Oh, I don't oh, know how long I does it take. Time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two, two, I don't know. Rowing, <laughs> two kilometers. Two kilometers. Okay. Rowing. That's a no spaghetti arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leslie, what are you going to uh, say? 300 meters. 300 meters? All right, let's have a look at the answer. 500 oh. meters. 500 meters is, do you, how long do you think it takes? I don't know. For a fast oh. team. I'll tell you the answer. This yeah. is too hard. It, usually the first place team, it takes about 2 minutes and 40 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds for the first place uh, cool. team to come in. And when you're rowing, or where you're paddling, sorry, I, say, I said it wrong. When you're paddling full speed, that is a lot of energy. Yeah, it sounds... I know people get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to practice for, for weeks, right? I did. I did for a couple months. Six months. Six, months. To, 6 to 9 every morning, uh, Monday through Friday, to prepare for it. Um, and That's a good uh, workout. I think you guys did well good enough training. to okay. uh, see some pictures. Yes. All right. We want to so see the pictures. Let's have a look at uh, a very young Andrew uh, doing Dragon Boat. Oh, look at that. Wow. So upper right-hand corner, that is me holding the National Taiwan Normal University Mandarin Training Center flag. Ooh. The top left is us uh, in the boats. Uh, that's our team pulling ahead. Bottom left, you can see we actually won the international division at the Taipei race. We then lost by like three boat lengths to some strapping young lads. Firemen, if I remember correctly. Oh. Firemen, <laughs> wow. That's, that's tough. We forgive that's you for tough. that. Oof. Uh, and then another look at the photo there. In the bottom right-hand corner uh, is uh, you can see me in a boat 
uh, and the arrow is pointing to me. Cool. So you can see I was you actually look so in healthy. a boat. I, I did back then. <laughs> <laughs> so fit. <No. laughs> and so hairy on top of my head. <laughs> So there you have it. Um, I hope that everybody will check out the uh, races. Uh, we're going to leave a uh, link to the official website for the races on Friday and Saturday this year in the show notes below. If you have a, an opportunity, do check it out. It's a great time. Uh, and it'll be a, a great way to celebrate the Dragon Boat Festival.